Hello everybody and welcome to Unstoppable Bonus Gaming guys. Today we are playing Pokemon Go once again. Check this out in my area. I literally have nothing. There is nothing here. And there is no nearby Pokemon. Just nothing. It sucks. I have to go out to find Pokemon. But today's video is about the Pokedex completion. Guys, it is my goal to complete the Pokedex. It is the main thing that everyone wants to do in this game, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to do it with you guys. Every week, I'm going to give an update video showing you guys my progress on the Pokedex. And maybe when trading comes out, we can trade, guys. Some of you guys trade with me, and it'll be like a little thing we can do together. Like, we're completing the Pokemon Dex, not me. We are together, all of us, as a group. It'll be more fun that way, you know? And I want you guys to comment down below and tell me how many Pokemon that you guys have caught or seen. I have caught 73 and I've seen 73, so I'm 100% right now. Pretty impressive, if I do so for myself. But I want you guys to tell me the, the coolest Pokemon. Like, Just comment down below and tell me all the ones you've seen, the coolest ones and stuff, how many you've seen, how many you've caught. I will even, I'll, I'm gonna show you guys my Pokemon right now. I have some, I have a pretty, I have two pretty good Pokemon that I'm really proud of. Um, I have a Poliwrath, and his name is Wrecker. He's my favorite one I have so far. I also have a Porygon and a Pidgeot. The Pidgeot I just got, it's not really that great. I just evolved it kind of, it was really strong. And Golbat's okay, but this Gloom is my, my Pokemon I'm working on right now. I'm trying to evolve it into Vileplume. I have 43 candies out of 100, so it's really gonna take a long time. And hopefully I can get that soon. Um, I have a Magmar, which I thought was pretty cool, and I think it's pretty rare for this area. I caught a really strong Ivysaur, 513 I think. I think it's strong. I'm sure it'll be well over a thousand once it evolves into Ivysaur, Venusaur, but let's see how many candies I have. 39 of those candies. That's pretty good for a starter Pokemon. I'm really close to getting Executor, which is one of the things I'm working towards. Uh, two more Executes and I should be able to get that. And Charmander, I just hatched that the other day. That is one of the coolest Pokemons that I have. I really like Charmander. I want a Charizard so bad. Um, a lot of people in my area, they found a Dragonite, and it's, it's pretty cool. They, they all found it wild, and I, I didn't get it, but they got it, and it's still cool. I've had friends hatch Dratinis and stuff. Um, a Snorlax is something that I caught in my area. This is pretty rare. I caught this wild uh, at the, uh, like, in the middle of my city. And this right here, I caught this up on, like, top of a, uh, like, way out in the woods, like, on the road, back road. And it's a Nato Queen, and it's wild, and I thought that, that was crazy. It's one of the craziest, it's probably the craziest spot I've seen on this game is the Sneedle Queen, like just randomly in a random place. Um, I hatched a Onyx, which is one of my pride and joys of my eggs that I hatched. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of that because I think it's cool. I will never transfer a Pokemon I think are cool. Um, I also just hatched a Sandshrew, which is this one right here, and I just need 10 more candies until I can get a Sand Slash, and that'll be really awesome because I really like Sand Slash. One of my favorite Pokemon, probably my top 25 Pokemon. Uh, Let's see, anything else I want to show here? I just have a lot of evolutions. I'm sure everybody does, because it's pretty common. Uh, this Tauros is pretty strong. Um, the 10k eggs. I haven't had a lot of 10k eggs. I've had two 10k eggs, and my friend, he's level 15, he's never had a 10k egg. How many 10k eggs have you guys had? I've had two. I've gotten a uh, Onyx, and I've gotten a Hitmonlee from that. Those are the two Pokemon I've gotten from that. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my medals, too. Oh man, I'll just do, every week I'll just do a big update of how my Pokemon Go is doing. And for some reason I could not, there we go. And I'll just show you guys everything that I've been doing, everything that I'm updated on. Uh, hopefully I can get some of these medals here. The hardest one to get is probably the Hex Maniac because Ghastly is not a very common spawn where I live. Not at all. I've only caught like two, I've got three of them it looks like. Because that's the only Ghost Pokemon I've seen. Uh, I just need one more Fire Pokemon to get the Candler, which is pretty cool. What else can we get? Um, pretty close to... We're pretty close to the swimmer. So I catch 50 water type Pokemon. That's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of this scientist evolving uh, 20 Pokemon before to get the silver medal. And am I close to any gold medals? I'd say the closest gold medal is definitely Skull Kid. I've caught 134 normal type Pokemon, so I just need about 66 more, and I should be able to to get the gold medal for that, which is pretty easy actually. I have some, some on Team Mystic, guys. Hashtag blue. Hashtag blue. Tweet that out. Hashtag blue. Team Mystic's the best. with the best in the league. If you guys are watching Mystic's channel, the Mystic's got jokes. That's pretty good. Uh, but, yeah. I just got level 16 today. And I got some coins from the gems that I had. But they're all taken over now. Super instinct. I can't stand you guys. Can't stand you guys. But that's all for today's video, guys. 
like I said, leave a comment down below. Tell me how completed your Pokedex is. I'm going to try to update every week and show you guys how completed mine is and how well I'm doing on the medals and stuff. But that's all I got for today. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all next time on Unstoppable Bonus Gaming, guys. Thanks for watching.